So it was uh, seven minutes flight, full throttle from takeoff to landing. Very <laughs> nice. I came back to 6S because uh, I had a crash. I was trying the the other setup with the 12S, but not on four batteries, but on six batteries. So three three kilograms battery only. So the plane was six and a half kilograms, and it was super fast. Level flight without any diving, 260 per hour. And when I attempted diving, the ESC, one of the leads of the three leads from the ESC going to the motor, the middle one. The soldering came off because it was too hot because I was running 200 amps on 12S on 100 amp ESC <laughs> and the, the middle cable came off so of course the the ESC didn't burn actually just the cable came off and suddenly I heard in the in telemetry that the uh, that power is down from almost eight kilowatts to one kilowatt. So I, I opened the landing gear, I opened the flaps and I, I made a car curve and I approached uh, the landing strip, the runway, and I almost made it. And it was maybe, I don't know, 20, 30 meters I, I missed from the runway and I landed in the deep grass and I broke the landing gear and I, the, the, the plane almost exploded, the wings blown up and the, the landing gear got got torn out and the, the fuselage came apart in front so it was it was a bad thing but it's glued it's back in the back to life again it works and that's why I, I had to go back to 6s setup because my 12s ESC is gone and I, I need to get the new one it was a good one because I had three minutes we didn't film it we had I had three minutes flight on almost three two minutes something on 200 amps on 12S, so the ESC was amazing, even though it's rated for 100 amps. It's a Sunrise model ESC, the, the Chinese one, the one that do, does the YEP also for hobbiting, but I don't know if they're the same. Okay, so now I was flying 6S, 3 kilowatts, the two, 122 amps at full battery, uh, pitot tube speed was 221, but uh, because we have such a strong wind today, uh, the ground speed was way higher. I think it was around 260 maybe, maybe 270 because we have very strong wind. So I was going downwind and you could see from right to left, very high speeds. And the flight was seven minutes, so very nice. On the three batteries in parallel success. So it's uh, uh, 12,000 milliampere hours. And the plane, the plane flies great on this setup. It's really light sweet comparing to the last setup I flew. It's a nice plane, so I enjoyed it a lot. It was fun and uh, and it's cold, so I'm gonna make two more flights and, and that's it for today. And that's it. <laughs> Thank you.
So it was a very interesting flight. Uh, the landing was actually <laughs> exciting because I'm flying without gyro uh, because I changed the receiver for redundancy to receivers. And in this wind and it's cross, cross the runway, so it's super gusty. It's so hard to land because the plane bumps up. It's like the, the wind is changing direction and, and speed, so it's super hard to land. But so I had to take another another uh, attempt to, to land second time and second time I managed because it's really difficult, but it was fun. Three kilowatts, 130 amps, 10,000 used of 12,000 battery. And uh, this extra loop and approach cost me 500 milliampere hours on success. So quite a lot on the battery. Seven minutes flight exactly full throttle. And uh, it was fun. Some very fast low passes downwind. So it was with the ground speed, I think 250, one meter above the ground. So it was very exciting. I'm very pleased. So I like this kind of flights and I will show you the, I'll show you the repair on the plane. When I crashed on this eight kilowatt setup, the, pl the plane spread like, like broke apart in the middle here. So I had to glue it inside. You can see that my Avanti is dying. I removed the door because the door weighs 70 grams with servos and the top speed is exactly the same. And without the door, the sound is better. So I'm not using the door. I don't care. Okay. The, the wings blow, like exploded here and here. You can see the repair. So the landing gear was gone and the, the flaps were, were gone. So I had to put new uh, hinges and very, I came up with very interesting, interesting way to remove plastic hinges from balsa because balsa is very soft. So drilling to take up, to take out the, the remainings of the plastic of the hinges, it's, it's kind of hard. It's hard to drill harder, harder material in softer surroundings. So I came up with an idea. I heated up the metal rod with the, with the torch. So it was, was red and white, almost white. And I just melted the plastic away, leaving me perfect holes for new hinges. It's really good idea. Really, I think it's really very effective way to get rid of the plastic from Balsa, okay? And of course the front landing gear was broken there. I repaired it. And this intake holes came apart from the plane. So I glued it in. So as you can see, my Avanti is dying and here's some cracks all around, but still it's flying. I'm very pleased. And um, I think when I will kill it, finally I'll buy a new one because it's a, it's a nice plane. It's a pleasant plane. It's a good flyer it's, and it looks great. So uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, and I'm uh, building uh, the yeah, I think we have to do the video from the build, from uh, at least the short one, from the build from the Odyssey. In my workshop, you'll see the size of it. The, you know, when you look into the in internet, it does look so big, but it's actually huge. It's the Odyssey, when I'm standing like this, and I, I put it on the ground. I don't know if you can see me. When I put it on the nose, on the ground, it's so tall. <laughs> it's like double the size, the length of Avanti. And of course the wingspan. So it takes almost all my workshop. But I have some very cool ideas about installing servos and uh, EDF and MX. I think we'll do the video maybe today. Okay, so thank you so much for this exciting flight. And uh, I think, I hope, I hope I see you next time.